Hey there crypto enthusiasts and market observers, welcome or welcome back to Kita Crypto or KTC. Today we'll be talking about all the latest Bitcoin news and updates. Bitcoin just pulled off another impressive move, and I bet you're all wondering, is this bullish rally going to persist, or are we in for a rejection dance at the edge of our beloved orange box? Today, we're diving deep into the charts, discussing not just Bitcoin but also the Ethereum giant and unraveling a massive fractal. This fractal is currently unfolding right before our eyes in the Bitcoin world. As you can see, Bitcoin experienced a robust surge from my marked support level at $36,450, shooting towards the skies. But, and here's the twist, as we approached the mystical edge of the orange box, we faced a classic rejection, resulting in a modest $500 pullback. The four hourly time frame is where the action's at, as we navigate the consolidation zone. Zooming out, a couple of juicy observations catch the eye. We're in a groove of higher lows, painting a beautiful picture of upward momentum. Now, the real spice lies in the fact that you've had multiple golden opportunities to buy the dip. I've been shouting from the rooftops that we're destined to break out of this orange box, but hold your horses. It's still a beastly resistance. Each pullback, though, is setting a new record for a higher floor. The first dance started at $33,000, then a flirtation with $33,700, a sassy move at $34,200, followed by a tango at $34,700, a waltz at $35,200, and recently, a sultry step at $36,000. Notice how every dip elevates the game. Yes. Altcoins are out there making insane gains, and that's fantastic. But if you're on the hunt for Bitcoin, the long-term vibes are screaming bullish. Now, here's the kicker. My beloved orange box is on the horizon again. Brace yourselves. We might just grapple with it once more. Every time we've approached this juncture, I've been waving the caution flag, and rightly so. Rejections happened right here and here. It's like a recurring theme, but my friends, with every touch, the orange box weakens, making a breakthrough more probable. It's a strategy, a game plan, and it's happening live. Oh, and stay tuned for the Ethereum scoop. Things are heating up in the crypto kitchen, and I'm serving the piping hot details on a silver platter. So, hit that like button, subscribe for more crypto goodness, and let's ride this bull market together. All right, Ethereum enthusiasts, buckle up for the latest update on our favorite altcoin. We're currently riding the Ethereum wave, and things are getting interesting off my designated support level. In a recent video, or maybe two videos ago, who's counting, we unveiled a jaw-dropping fractal unfolding on the weekly time frame. Now, this isn't your average chart talk. It's a crystal ball into the future of Ethereum to Bitcoin dynamics. Picture this, a bottoming structure for Ethereum against the Bitcoin backdrop. In simpler terms, it's Ethereum strutting its stuff compared to the Bitcoin chart. After a dramatic red candle, we witnessed two triumphant green candles, a modest red follow-up, and then a pint-sized green companion. Fast forward to the present, and history seems to be repeating itself with a giant red candle, followed by two greens, a red and a green again. Remember, this dance is on the weekly stage, so the plot can thicken or unravel. But if this pattern continues, we might be in for an altcoin frenzy. Let's revisit the epic Ethereum saga of June 2022. Similar red-green-red-green red green choreography set the stage, and guess what happened next? Ethereum catapulted into a massive pump. Coincidence? Maybe. Something to keep a hawk eye on? Absolutely. I dropped the breadcrumb a few days back, and now it's unfolding right before our eyes. Turning the spotlight to traditional markets, they're still casually strolling inside the orange box, so no alarms there. Now, onto the nitty gritty of my trades, a major update for my fellow traders. I made a tactical move and adjusted my take profit prices on all my bots. Hindsight's a sharp critic and yes, I should have probably left them untouched. But hey, trading's a game of choices and we're still raking in substantial profits. Even without the optimization, these trading strategies are singing sweet melodies we're talking 100% gains and more on the horizon. The avalanche trade is stealing the spotlight, 
boasting a jaw-dropping $188,000 gain, that's a whopping 200% surge. Not too shabby, right? Meanwhile, the Matic trade is doing a solid 5% victory dance. And here's the twist. I've got my eyes on Bitcoin and Ethereum, toying with the idea of building a short position as we approach the tantalizing edge of the orange box. The jury's still out on that decision, and I've got a few trades open on OKX, a mix of shorts and longs playing the game across different time frames. It's a chessboard of moves, and we'll see how the pieces fall when we hit that critical orange box moment. Now, let's talk institutions. The CME wasted no time, gapping up 1.5% at the opening bell. Boom! Institutions flexing their muscles, propelling Bitcoin up by $580 in a matter of minutes. Double boom! It's a testament to the growing institutional appetite for Bitcoin. And guess what? Javier Millet clinched the Argentine presidency, flashing the pro-Bitcoin and anti-central bank badge. Could this be a catalyst for Bitcoin's recent pump? Stay tuned as we watch whether he'll steer Argentina towards adopting Bitcoin, considering his strong support for the crypto. In a political showdown that shook Latin America's third most populous nation, Javier Malay triumphed with an impressive 56% of the vote in the runoff, leaving his rival in the dust with just over 44%. Against the backdrop of Argentina's recent tryst with triple-digit inflation rates, Malay emerges as a disruptor, championing Bitcoin and digital currencies as a bold move to return money to its original creator, the private sector. With an unwavering gaze on Bitcoin's finite supply, he positions it as a fortress of security, outshining traditional stalwarts like gold or silver. Fueled by an anti-central banking fervor, Millet lashes out at the central bank for orchestrating an inflationary tax that he believes is duping the masses. He doesn't mince words, boldly declaring his intention to blow it up going as far as featuring in a cinematic political ad wielding a Thor-like hammer, demolishing a model of the central bank. This critique hits home hard, resonating in a nation grappling with a staggering 135% inflation rate in 2023. As the Argentine peso takes a nosedive, Bitcoin skyrockets to all-time highs, dancing around a jaw-dropping ARS 13.2 million per BTC. Despite Miley's vocal support for cryptocurrencies, he hasn't pitched the idea of making Bitcoin legal tender a la El Salvador. Instead, he pushes for a radical remedy, dollarizing the Argentine economy to combat the rampant inflation. While Miley's penchant for private sector-controlled money and skepticism towards central banking echoes loud and clear, the practical implications of his crypto-friendly rhetoric in shaping national economic policies remain an enigma. The stage is set for a Malay administration, and the crypto community watches with bated breath as the script unfolds, wondering if Argentina is on the brink of a crypto revolution, or another chapter in the political drama. And now, a visual treat let me unfold a chart that connects the dots of central bank liquidity, global money supply, Bitcoin price, and crypto market cap. It's a dance of interconnected elements, all rising in unison. The global money supply, the central bank's balance sheet assets, the majestic Bitcoin price, and the flourishing crypto market cap, they're all in sync. We've weathered a storm of pessimism, but guess what? The tides are turning, liquidity is on the rise, users are flocking in, and we're on the brink of a massive bull run. Get ready for the fireworks, my friends. Buckle up, crypto enthusiasts, because Bloomberg intelligence analyst Jamie Kautz just dropped a knowledge bomb on the future of the crypto universe, and it's a wild ride. Kautz, the wizard of wisdom, weaves a narrative connecting the dots between the cryptocurrency market, central bank liquidity, and the global money supply, M2, with a special spotlight on the enigmatic Bitcoin. In Kautz's crystal ball, the liquidity cycle, hitting rock bottom in the fourth quarter of 2022, emerges as the maestro orchestrating the symphony of blockchain adoption. Brace yourselves, because despite the roller coaster ride of crypto prices, there's a rock solid year over year surge in blockchain tech adoption, painting a vivid picture of a long term structural uptrend for the crypto world. It's all interconnected. Follow the trail. Central bank liquidity sets the stage, leading to the global M2, shaping the Bitcoin price, 
influencing crypto prices, and finally welcoming crypto users into the grand spectacle. Q4 2022 wasn't just the liquidity cycle's low point. It also saw a dip in smart contract blockchain users. But hold tight, folks, because the liquidity cycle's impact is on the adoption rate, and the momentum is undeniable. Now, here's the game changer. Kautz spills the tea on Bitcoin's grand evolution into a sovereign-level reserve asset. Picture this. Energy-rich nations dropping billion-dollar investments into Bitcoin mining facilities. Not just as economic chess moves, but as strategic energy maneuvers. These countries are literally plugging into the Bitcoin matrix, potentially weaving it into their national balance sheets, signaling Bitcoin's meteoric rise in the global financial theater. But that's not all, folks. In the same crypto carnival, a Bitfinex report sidles in, spotlighting Bitcoin's jaw-dropping 120% surge this year. The report, though, issues a note of caution to investors riding this exhilarating wave. Hold your horses because we're hurtling toward the fourth Bitcoin halving in April 2024, tightening the Bitcoin supply screws and injecting an extra dose of suspense into this crypto saga. That's it for now. If you liked today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, and remember the future of finance is here with KTC.